We all know rugby is a physical sport, but it's also a game of physics. Force. And that's a brilliant tackle. He had to make it. It's edge of the seat stuff. Mass. They're just lining up the big man. Acceleration. Joseph has found the gap. O'Donnell, he's going and he's down. And something that both today's teams have plenty of going into this game. Momentum. The final whistle sounds a resounding victory for England. Ireland continue to defend their championship. Momentum is simply mass by velocity. But to fully understand these, we should look to Isaac Newton and his laws of motion. Law one. In order for the motion of an object to change, a force must act upon it. Law two. Acceleration results when a force acts on a mass. Can they score? Yes, they can! Beat the boost that has made the difference for Ireland. And law three. For every action, there's an equal but opposite reaction. Brute force out there on both sides. It's Joseph! Joseph is in! The crowds rise to the effort defensively from Ireland. Newton's laws of motion were first published in 1687. And now, over 300 years later, we may be on the brink of another major physical event. What happens when an irresistible force meets an immovable object. It's Carney, oh, Carney, straight through, under the front. Oh, Ireland are going to be stretched, and it's going to score. The offload doesn't go to hand, but it does go to a stretch goal. And Ireland is going to sleep in defence, and the scrum half is in. Both strikes for Ireland. Ireland finds the mother and father of all performances.